Yeah, so what I'm going to do in this video is make a small shelf to go on the wall for one of these cell phone wireless charging pads. The actual one I'm going to use is the Samsung one. It's a little bit smaller in diameter. And I'm, this is my iPhone X, so it's plenty big enough. But I'm also making it big enough. This is the old case for my 7 Plus, so if I ever go back with a bigger uh, phone, it'll fit. That way I can get this off where it's not sitting on the welding table. I can put it on the wall somewhere where it's out of the way. Yeah, and I cut this piece out with a, one of those metal cutting circular saws. Yeah, it's over here on the charger right now. Yeah, I'm going to make this whole thing out of aluminum. Yeah, so what I've done is I've spaced this up two in, or a quarter of an inch. Because this is a two inch uh, flat bar, but I only wanted an inch and a half high of the sides. And when I do the end pieces, and I'm just going to tack weld this for now. When I do the end pieces, there's got to be some holes drilled through it for the wires to go through. And there's a light on the front. So when you get the phone sitting in the center, the light comes on. Because it has to sit in the center of that charging pad. Then you'll be able to see the light. Yeah, so in this piece, I just drilled a couple of holes and filed it to make that whole square for the USB cable to go through. And in this end piece, I just drilled some quarter inch holes so you can see the light when it comes on. When the uh, cell phone's in the center of the charging pad. Yeah, so now I got the whole thing tack welded together. What I'm going to do is take this in the other room and stick it in the sandblast cabinet. So I should have cleaned this metal good before I uh, started to weld this. Yeah, and here's what this piece looks like all welded together. I know the welds are not perfect. I haven't welded much in aluminum. Yeah, and here I burned the edge off in several places. But it's not going to really matter. It's just going to mount on the wall. Yeah, and here's what it looks like after I just stuck it back in the sandblasting uh, cabinet. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, and the charging pad just goes in it like that, and then you set the phone in there. But... Uh, yeah, and this charging pad's only 5 watts. I'm going to use the Samsung Fast Charging Pad, which is 15 watts, and it gets here tomorrow, and it actually sits up higher than this. So the phone won't go down in there that far. The phone will actually sit up a little way, about a half an inch higher. Yeah, and here's the Samsung uh, wireless charging pad that I just got. And these were sold as store display models, and I only paid $12.99 a piece. But I think it's just because the box is damaged, because the other two I took out of the package, the cord never even been out of the package before. The other two had two tiny little holes right here with two little scratches in there. But they work fine. That's a lot better than paying $49.99 at Best Buys. Yeah, you can see how these are uh, taller than that other one that I had. And the phone just sits on there like that. Yeah, and I took and cut this out here so the shelf bracket can go up all the way against the wall. Yeah, it's only going to have one bracket because this shelf would have to be 16 inches long where I can have uh, two brackets on it. Yeah, and here's some pieces that I cut out that I'm going to make the shelf bracket out of. And this is quarter inch uh, thick. That other stuff that I have is only eighth inch thick. That's why I cut that out of that plate. Yeah, and this is one of uh, Fireball Tools' uh, squares. And that's what I'm using to clamp all this together with. And yeah, he makes a whole bunch of different ones. And that's the box that came out of him. And there's bigger ones. There's aluminum ones. He's got a whole bunch. Of, and there's one adjustable one. I have it here somewhere. Yeah, and here's the adjustable one. Yeah, and I'm also going to weld this on the other side. Yeah, and here's what I came up with. For the bracket and I've already drilled all the holes and countersunk them on the other side. Yeah so here's how this whole thing turned out. I'm going to take it in the other room and stick it in the sandblast cabinet again and then I'll paint it. Yeah so here's what it looks like finished. Yeah I didn't really have much room to mount this anywhere. Yeah so then all you do is just set the phone up in here like that. Yeah then it's out of the way and it's not going to get broken.